Hello everybody, it's Gary Crosby, Action Coach in Peterborough. Today, we're gonna to make another video in our sales series. This one's about handling objections. You know, we get objections all the time in our sales process, and normally it's because of something we didn't say or something that we didn't do. So let's explore that topic today. So let's start this video by looking at the core principle. And the core principle is simply this. We want to eliminate the objections before they arise. The things we say and the things we do during our marketing and sales give our prospects so much information that they can't make an objection later on. Now, the first piece of homework I want to give you in this video is to create a list of the common objections that you get in your business. Where do they occur in your marketing and in your sales process? And what do people talk about? You might hear expense coming up quite a lot. People will say, I love what you do, but it's a bit expensive for me right now. They might talk about time. I love what you do, but I need a bit more time to think about it. Or they might talk about authority. So I love what you do, but I need to speak to my wife or my business partner or my accountant before I make this decision. Now, once you've taken a bit of time to create that list of your most common objections, then we can start working on how to stop them. You've got the list of common objections that you face in your business. So what's the key to stopping those objections from arising? Well, let's have a look at a very common one, and that is around pricing. You get to the end of the sales process, the prospect loves what you do, but they say that they think your product or service is a bit too expensive. Well, the key here for pricing is to introduce it into your marketing and sales process as early as you possibly can. So for example, if you're a virtual assistant, well, you'll publish on your website that your hourly rate is 25 pounds, and people who are happy to pay that will come and talk to you. But if you're the kind of company that has to give a quote or a survey or an estimate for a more complicated piece of work, where in your process could you introduce perhaps a range of pricing from this to that? Or a typical pricing, this is roughly what this kind of product or service costs. Because if you do that at that point, the prospect can back out of the deal if the price isn't for them, saving you both time and effort. Now, despite all of our efforts, we might still get to the end of the sales process and there'll be some kind of objection pops up. Now, no matter what that objection is, I want you to think about handling them in accordance with this mnemonic, which is A-Q-I-C. Now, the A stands for agree, and this may seem a little bit counterintuitive, but you have to agree with your prospect when they raise an objection. Otherwise, they're going to go on the defensive. So you might say something like, I agree with you, it is a big investment, and you're right to go and make sure your finance director is happy with it. By doing that, you're giving the prospect confidence that they've raised a valid objection and you can move on to the next bit. The Q is questions. And what we're really trying to get to here is the real objection. Because sometimes what people say at the beginning isn't the real objection. So you might say something like, other than affordability, is there anything else that would stop you from moving ahead today? And they might say something like, well, yeah, I do need to check in with my business partner to make sure she's okay with it. So then you start to be able to ask more questions to get to the I, which is isolate. Can you isolate what the actual objection is? Let's say it is a question of affordability. Once you've isolated it, you can say something like, well, look, it is a big all-in-one investment, but how about we spread that cost over six months or 12 months? You might have a solution which will allow you to move to the C, which is the close, which is the part where you again ask that simple question, are you ready to get started? It looks like this is a great fit. Shall we get moving with it? For more sales tips, check out the sales playlist on my channel. And if you'd like to have a conversation about handling objections, then get in touch.